How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, we will talk a little bit about how we can use our habits to help us in our self-development work. In trying to change ourselves to live more consciously, we need all the energy we can get. Much of our energy is spent through all the automatic habits that we have developed and through all the various energy leaks, such as indulging in negative emotions. At the end of the day, we simply don't have enough energy left over for our self-development work. So we need to learn to become less mechanical, more mindful, and to stop all of our unnecessary energy leaks. Automatic energy is the lowest form of energy we can function on. In order for us to become more conscious, we need to transform these lower energies into higher energies, which help us become more conscious and aware. We can transform our automatic energies into sensitive energies that allow us to be more self-aware by strengthening our ability to sense our bodies and environment. Our experience then becomes more vivid as these sensitive energies allow us to have a deeper perception at the bare sensate level. From these energies, we can then go deeper into the subtler conscious energies. So today, I just want to share another useful exercise that you can add to your self-development toolkit that can help you get a deeper insight into our attachments and the energy locked up within them. So I just want you to think about for a little bit and then choose any one of your small habits. Start with an easy one. Maybe it's checking Facebook too much. Maybe it's playing video games or eating ice cream, whatever it may be. Then your goal for the next week or two is just to notice and observe any time you get the automatic urge to carry out your chosen habit. And then to do your best to refrain from doing it. When the urge arises, just observe this compulsive energy within you. Give it some inner space. Don't become identified with it. And then do your best to redirect it by using this urge to become more aware of your body instead. You can redirect that energy to help you sense a particular body part or to sense your body as a whole or any other self-development technique you are working on. You will use your habit as a way to remind you of your inner work, to transform that automatic energy into sensitive energy by redirecting it to sense your body and to help you become more present within your body. After you're done with your little experiment, you can return to your habit. On our journey for inner freedom, our goal isn't to get rid of all our habits completely, only the harmful ones. A life without preferences would be very dull. Many of our useful habits also help us to have smoother, productive lives. And as you gain more understanding, you will be able to discriminate between harmless and harmful habits that really prevent your growth. In any case, just try to bring awareness to all your habits. Even though it's a habit, you can bring a little extra awareness to it. You can be present to your habit instead of just being asleep at the wheel and letting the habit play out without you. Just being aware of yourself, doing whatever it is that you are doing as you are doing it. Being an active participant, even if your action is compelled by a habit. It will then be a qualita qualitatively different experience. The reason I suggest that you pick a small, harmless habit is because your organism is incredibly complex and if you tinker with something without understanding, it's bound to cause some unforeseen changes somewhere else. Anyone who has tried to break a very big habit, such as to stop smoking, knows how incredibly hard it is and that it may have caused them to pick up some other habit or behavior they did not expect. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone who might find my content useful. And um, until next time, I hope you're doing well. 
wherever you are. Take care. Peace.